<clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's April. This is Ocean Science with April. And you have reached El Porto Shark. Our mission is ocean and shark conservation through research, education, and action. So thanks for joining us. This week, we're talking about the movie Jaws and the Jaws effect. So last week, we talked about the USS Indianapolis, since there were so many questions about it. And I've had some good conversations with people and everybody's kind of finding, you know, everybody, not kind of, everyone is finding the same thing that they're, it depends on who you talk to, what story you really get, right? I mean, that's the case all the time. Okay, then this week is Jaws. So yesterday we talked a little about the Jaws effect and today we're gonna talk a little bit more about that. And I have a really cool article I found. <clears throat> Excuse me, have a sip of my kombucha. In my Dodgers, Good Lawyers mug or cup, whatever. Okay, uh, from Mental Floss in 2015, 14 terrifying turns to new for the return of Jaws. So that's a lot. Like, that's some of the stuff we were talking about yesterday. Terrifying and Jaws in the same sentence, of course. I always <coughs> stop it. Sorry, I owned up to using clickbait at times myself. I put up a shark attack, and it was a puppet and me underwater. So. We all do it to an extent to get attention, but what that extent is, right? I can't judge everybody and not own up to the, you know. And I was gonna, I've got some fun clickbait coming up for you, but at any rate, Mental Floss article, which I'll post for you, and I'll post it in the chat right now if you're watching it live. Otherwise, it will be in the comments if you wanna follow along at all. Uh, this is in 2015, this came out, and it's really cool. They have all these great words from Jaws, like, Number one is amity. Amity, as you know, means friendship, is what Mayor Vaughn says. I've never actually looked that up. So I'm just kind of taking that for face value since I'm not a linguist. I, guess, I suppose I should look that up. Uh, but uh, let's see. Amity is a fictional setting in what is actually Martha's Vineyard. We know that. Most, most Jaws people know that that's supposed to be Martha's Vineyard. Um, but there doesn't seem to be any connection between the Amity of Jaws and Amityville, New York for the Amityville horror setting. The word, anim ah, the word Amity ultimately comes from the Latin word amare, to love. Okay, I get it. And then the second terrifying term they have is shark, which I'm not really excited about, because, but yeah, apex predator. I mean, human, shark, bear, orca, wolf, you know, it is, large predators are, top predators are frightening, so okay. Uh, the word squalus, which is really a good word that Matt Hooper uses. It's a large squalus. So that word actually is Latin for shark. Squalus also means filthy and gives us the word squalid, which is dirty and run down. So that's pretty fun. Feeding frenzy. I want to get to number seven, I think is pretty funny. <coughs> Supercargo. When Quint tells Hooper he's just supercargo, he's not saying the oceanographer is very large merchandise. A supercargo is an officer on a merchant ship in charge of buying and selling cargo. In other words, not a true seaman, at least not in Quint's eyes. Yeah, you know, Quint made him tie a knot and all this. And then he was teaching uh, Brody how to teach it, how to tie another knot. And it's a pretty cool knot. And if anybody remembers that knot, I know what it is, do you? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, Orca, chumming, what the hell? Chumming asks a landlubber, what the hell, what the hell's that? It's the act of throwing chum or oily fish guts in the water as bait. This sense might come from the Scottish chum food, while chum meaning friend might be short for chamber fellow or chambermate, old timey words for roommate. So I want to point out something here that's really important. The act of throwing oily fish guts, right? So I'm going to come back to that number nine, chumming, oily fish guts. And then down here, number 11 word, great white. It's a carcaridon carcarius. Hooper tells the disbelieving mayor, it's a great white. Great white sharks, according to National Geographic, are the largest predatory fish on earth. Da, 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 da. Great whites can also sense a single drop of blood in 25 gallons of water 
and can detect small amounts from up to three miles away. Okay, let's put those two together. Chumming is attracting sharks using oily stuff from fish. Yeah, there's some blood in there too. Oily is the key. Here they're just telling you about the shark's sense of smell. So somewhere along the line, that became, if you're bleeding in the water, you better get out because you're shark bait. Okay. But if you really, if you read this and you read it, you know, read through, you see it says oily. And they're just telling you about another sense a shark has. So oils are what attract it. And I, I can vouch for this. On um, a uh, Mako trip I was on, it is mackerel and actual fish oil that you get. It's not like the fish oil you'd want to put on your skin or your hair or drink or anything like that. This is oil that you use for fishing and you get these oily fish loving fish, including sharks. So that is what a lot of chum is. It's the oily fish. You can't just put any bleeding fish. So like in Finding Nemo, when Bruce smells Dory's blood, it's really silly because the kind of fish Dory is is not Bruce's food. So doesn't matter what kind of blood, it's not gonna send him into a frenzy, even if it's fish blood, people. And I've seen this in person and you can see it in some of my videos on this channel. Anyway, enough lecturing. What I wanted to talk about today, as I said, more of this Jaws effect stuff. I have this great um, article for you guys. And I, I like mental floss a lot. It's a fun, I read it when I don't wanna, when I just want like some informative, but not super heavy. So it's like light reading for scientists and interested people. By light reading, I mean, it's not a journal article where it has all the jargon and every little detail. It's really a fun, well-written, in my opinion, and I like it. So if you like to, if you like to look at, like, if you're the person that did crossword puzzles, Sudoku, logic puzzles especially, you'll like Mental Floss. It's, it's right along those lines. I really dig it and always have. So you'll find some fun, you know, cocktail facts. And so the article I have in the chat now and that I will put up in the comments um, will have all these words. And so we're talking about Jaws because Discovery's having Shark Week and it's been Shark Fest and Shark Summer and Shark Awareness Week and Shark Friends Week. There's a lot of different awareness going on right now, which is great for summertime. There's a lot of sensational headlines, of course. We all use them in a certain way. We all know we're used in a certain way when we're speaking, you know, scientists, advocates, NGO founders, government, et cetera. We go on the shows, we know they're gonna sometimes be a little, hey, but what about this? So, but we're getting your attention. So really trying to balance all that. So I love to hear what you have to think, what you have to say and your thoughts on how sensational should you be talk about the language it's something we talk about a lot and speaking of talking about tonight back on instagram live will be vice president of el porto shark lisa miller and myself with old lady ocean science on the old el, at el porto shark page so if you don't follow us on instagram go over there we're gonna have old lady ocean science and lisa and i'll be talking about Shark Week and our experiences and probably go off on a tangent about dogs or something. Who knows? But it'll be fun. Not sure how long it'll go. 15, 20, 30, whatever. But join us over at El Porto Shark on Instagram. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Really appreciate it. Trying to get as many followers as possible. because We have some really great stuff coming up and some fun clickbait and headlines for you that I think you'll laugh at because I... Really had fun filming it. So we'll talk to you all soon. Uh, again, I'll put this in the comments so that you can see this mental floss article that I find pretty neat. Um, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on it and how you would change any of it. You know, it is over five years old now. So have a great day and stay good. <laughs>